Jesse, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to take a selfie, man, but this lighting sucks. Really? Yeah. Can I give it a try? Go ahead. It's not the lighting. Gotta get in the gym and train. Leg day today, buddy. I'll see you in there. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. I stand here today with Freddie Mercury. Bicycle, bicycle. Actually, it's Jesse. It's Jesse. See, if you, if you oh. notice with that mustache, remember I said I brought it in every video here in November? Here's the deal though. He's actually with me, not because of that, but because we're gonna talk leg training today. We're gonna talk hard gainer our legs. And Jesse knows those pains, but more importantly, so do I. See, my whole life, even if I, as I started to build muscle, my legs always sort of trailed behind. And there's four major lessons that I think any hard gainer can benefit from that I want to cover here today. So before we get started, I do think it's important to look at the progress that Jesse has made to date, following the same very pieces of advice that I'm going to give you today. You can see that the legs, yes, they still need some work, but they've come a long way. They're a lot bigger than they were before, and we're going to continue to use the things that I show you. But I want to get right to it because I know you're going to benefit from the things I have to share with you today. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do if you want to build bigger legs is you're going to have to squat, but in doing so, you're going to have to leave your ego at the door, and I promise you, you're going to see better results because of it. I know it can be self-conscious for people to approach the squat rack and not even have at least a 45 on the other end of the bar, but if you have to start with just the 25s, and that's where you have to start, remember, everybody had to start somewhere. The key to bigger gains, though, is taking that and going through a full range of motion, because a lot of people will do this. They'll load up the bar because they don't want to look self-conscious in the gym. They don't want to be self-conscious when they're squatting. So they'll put that on and they'll proceed to do this. This is something you should probably be self-conscious about, because these quarter reps are not really doing anything to help you to build bigger legs. What you'd want to do instead is go through a full range of motion, your full allowable range of motion. Jesse actually has the ability to go really low here and maintain proper form. And I even make him do some pause squats at the bottom here to assert that yes, it's his muscles that are in command of this weight and they're being subjected to all of the squat because doing quarter reps with heavier weight isn't going to cut it. Here's the equalizer. If you're going to do this, go through a grueling 20 rep set. Do higher rep sets and that means not where the 20th rep is hard, but where 15 makes you feel like you want to quit. And then figure out a way to do 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, even if you have to rest pause in the top of the squat, allow the intensity of the set and the higher reps be the thing that stimulates growth while you're working on building up better form and then progressively adding more weights to the end of the bar. The next crucial skill you're going to have to learn if you want to start doing the squat better is to learn how to push through your feet better. And guess where we learn to do that? The deadlift. We actually use the deadlift as the cornerstone of our lifts here as I'm helping Jesse to transition away from being the hard gainer by learning how to push more. Because think about it, if you don't know how to exert force into the ground during a squat, how are you going to push all that force that's down on your shoulders back up? You have to learn how to actively push. This is not a passive process. So with the deadlift, we actually use our feet to drive through that first half of the range of motion. Instead of thinking about it as a pull exercise, we think about it as a push to the level of the knee, and at that point we pull through the rest of the rep. And you can see here, Jesse's been handling some pretty good weight for his body weight. He's actually almost touching 300 pounds, and he's getting better at doing that, and that's been transferring over to his squat. Now, if you look here at the deadlift, again, the reason why this thing works is because in that first range of motion here to the level of the knee, all Jesse's doing is using the push of his legs. It's a vertical leg press and down, and then push through to the legs again, to the knees, there and down. And then, of course, he's doing his full reps on the deadlift as well, all the way up. And he drives through. So what I want you to do is get better at the deadlift, learn how to push through there, and I, I promise you, your squat is going to improve as well. You're going to start adding those weights to the end of the bar while still maintaining the proper form and range of motion that we already covered. The next thing we don't do enough of is train in planes other than the sagittal plane. If you think about it, guys will do leg extensions in the sagittal plane. We'll do squats in the sagittal plane. Right? We'll do lunges even in the sagittal plane but we can do lunges in a different way. And the benefit here is relying on the fact that there are more muscles than just your quads in your legs. You have a lot of muscles on the inside of your leg, the adductors, you have abductors on the outside of your leg, and we can hit all of them, all capable of building muscle, all capable of growing by doing more three-dimensional work. And what we do is the three-dimensional lunge. So Jesse will grab the dumbbells and he'll come forward, which we've seen that before. Okay, but then he'll go into a side lunge. If you're not side lunging, you're simply not building your legs as big as you possibly can because you're not working all the muscles of your leg. 
and you go back into a drop step lunge. And you come back again. You go through the sequence. Sagittal plane, frontal plane here, and then drop step transverse plane. So doing lunges and doing exercises and more than just this sagittal plane is going to give you another opportunity to start building bigger legs and not to mention the fact a little bit more athletically in the process. And then finally, if I want to give Jesse a chance to load up those legs in a safer way, or at least a less biomechanically demanding way, I can do that while he's working on building up his legs through the squat, and while he's working on building up his ability to push to the ground, and that is with a Bulgarian split squat. You might be thinking to yourself, but that seems like a technically challenging exercise. It really isn't. When you compare it to the squat, you actually have a lot of factors that are eliminated here. The movement itself puts you in the right position. If you've never felt what it feels like to properly load your quads, do a Bulgarian split squat. You stay upright as much as you can, you drop the leg straight down, and you can see proper and per perfect quad loading right here at the bottom of the exercise. Not to mention the fact that if Jesse needs to fail because he's using heavier weights here, he simply just has to drop them. And he has another benefit here too, he can continue to rep out and push through failure to really, really push for a stimulus for more growth. So the fact of the matter is, you have options that allow you to use heavier weights and build your strength in a really direct way while you transition to getting stronger in those other two exercises, because we do know that ultimately the squat, the deadlift are going to be the cornerstones of you being able to build and add more mass to those legs. So there you have it guys, our heart gainer leg edition in the books. If nothing else, you've got four tips now, or at least a change in mindset as you approach your workouts. Remember, everybody starts somewhere. I started somewhere, my legs have definitely improved, Jesse's are improving as we watch, we all get a chance to watch it. And I think you can do the same. In the meantime, guys, if you're looking for a program that covers all the bases and brings you from wherever you are right now that takes you to where you want to be, I'll take you there step by step. Head to athletex.com and get our Athletics training program. If you like the video, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what else you want me to cover here. And let me know if you want me to put Jesse in and I'll do my best. But I will tell you this. Too many calls from the FBI. He's instantly been on the most wanted list. I don't know what's going on, but this mustache is really getting us in trouble. So it's going. No more mustache. But again, thanks for being a good sport, Jesse. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.